Hi there. Today I'm going to go over creating a protection plan in Acronis CyberProtect 15. Protection plans cover not only backup, but also antivirus and anti-malware protection, URL filtering, Windows Defender, antivirus, and Microsoft Security Essentials Management, vulnerability assessment, patch management, and the data protection map feature. Depending on your desired setup, you can include all of these features in the same plan or separate them out for more granular control. I'm going to focus on creating a plan dedicated to backup, specifically backing up a machine to a NAS location. For the interest of time, I'm going to stick to the most basic options during the setup, though all features are highly documented in our product documentation. Here I am in the CyberProtect dashboard. Since this is a fresh installation, you can see I have no devices protected currently. I could just select protect devices here. However, I'm going to head down to the plans instead as this is how you'd normally do it through the UI, which brings me right into the protection plans, and then I can select Create Plan. The first thing I'm going to do here is specify a name for this plan so I know its purpose. Now I will select Add Devices at the top as this will cater relevant and device specific choices to me as I set up my plan. You can also create a generic plan without selecting a machine as well, then apply it as you see fit from the devices list. As you can see, it defaulted to an entire machine backup, which will back up all non-removable drives detected. You can also switch this to disk slash volume level if you wanted to back up only an OS drive or files and folders if you only wanted to protect certain locations. Next, I'm going to select where I want this machine to back up. This backup will be going to my NAS, so I'll input the path here and specify credentials for this location. Note, if I do need to change those credentials for any reason, there is now a little key icon next to the location and I can click on it to do so. Next, I'm going to adjust the schedule. In this case, I'm going to leave the default always incremental scheme. However, you should note this is fully customizable for your scenario. You can change from a specific time to an event as well, depending on your needs. I'll go ahead and switch this to a daily and have it run every day at 11 p.m. Note there are also several options and conditions which may be useful to you here at the bottom. Next, I'm going to adjust how long to keep as I don't want to retain them for the defaults here. You can see at the top, we can adjust the cleanup function itself here from age to a number of backups or even turn it off completely. I'm going to stick with the backup age, but adjust this down to a seven day rolling backup. You can use this option here to switch to a single rule for all backups, but this does remove the granularity of settings here. Also, we can select if we want this to run its cleanup of the oldest backup before or after the backup runs. Here you can flip on backup encryption, which prompts you to set a password along with the encryption of your choice. Please note that there's no means of recovering this password, so be sure to keep it in a safe place. Next is the option to convert to a VM. This will create a copy of the machine based on the backup, which can be powered on immediately, saving you time on restoring the machine. Here we can enable application aware backups for SQL, Exchange, AD, and Oracle databases. These allow you to recover data from those applications without having to restore an entire machine from backup. Here we have the option to add a secondary backup location. You can add up to five backup locations per plan for replication to other locations. Note you can also have a separate backup replication plan for this purpose to offload this task to another machine if needed. Next, we have the backup options menu where you can heavily customize, adjust, and fine tune your backup plan. There are several useful options here like error handling, file filters for exclusions, performance settings, and scheduling 
for staggering your backups. You can select the question mark here at the top to bring you to a full list of all these options and what they can be used on. Okay, the basics of my plan are completed. I am going to turn off the other features here as I will set them up on their own plans for that granular control. Note that the antivirus and anti-malware protection section does contain our self-protection features, which help keep backup archives safe from malware and is highly recommended. Now I'll go ahead and create this plan. Once it's done, we'll get a reminder to create our bootable media in case of needing it for restore. Now my backup plan has been created and I can wait for it to run by schedule or go ahead and select here to run it now. If I head down to activities, I can now see that my plan is running. And that's it, your backup plan is completed.